You got them. DVDs are, but that has the spider with chronicles on it. Oh, cool, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm ask them how much that is. Make sure they're in there. Something's in there. Christmas. What's this? Candle huggers. Taiwan, so they're real. Bugs are gonna bite me today. Those are cute but broken. Aww, I got that if it wasn't broken. A couple that are okay. Mm. Sorry, Santa. <clears throat> we have it, yep. Kind of cool. What's this? Hampton Magazine. Model 32, six cylinder, 50 horsepower torpedo. It's cool. True local color. Dukes of Hazard. Season one of Dukes. <laughs> it did get pulled from TV. <laughs> It's always missing the pegs. Sounds like they're in there. Ty. Yep. The kids are like this cribbage board. It sounds like there's pegs in there. You can check because I couldn't get it to slide. Hmm. What you got, bud? It's an older one. What is that? I don't know what they are. Drink cozies, maybe? Mama. Old hot water bottle, Ty. <laughs> what is it, bud? A waffle maker? Look at that. That baby's old. Hot water bottle. The box is cool. Yeah, I've never seen the metal. Usually, like, um. Mama, this is so bad. Awesome. Oh. Kicking their car hard out. <laughs> yeah, we don't need this. We're <laughs> like obsessed with the four things. So. Oh, wait. I'm gonna miss my Christmas book here. But that's like someone got their hair stuck. They got their hair stuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess they did, buddy. <laughs> Keep what is so in white 
ground or something? Go I like don't know. Me. What do you think happened? <laughs> me, I just wept out and he wanted to go out. Yeah, I'm not sure, bud. She, she must have too much hair. She must have too much hair. <laughs> You're a funny dude. Mm -hmm. These are some cool bottles. Look at this one. It's pretty sweet. Federal law forbids the sale of this bottle. Uh oh. Made in the USA. It's cool. What's this? Otis S. Neal. Howard Street, Boston. It's cool. <sighs> buggy, buggy today. Mean black fly season. I wonder. I should grab one of these for the dogs. Let's do these up. What is it, bud? Oh. What you got? <gasps> is that the Browns? Excellent. Yeah, What is it? Just a football? Yeah, they're all. Like, like just two pickles or anything? It's more football. It's Daddy's Packers. Mama's Browns. Oh, there's a stand over there for the dog's bowl that you can put up. Up. It's just a little crazy. Candle? This feels like a candle texture. What's this? Oh, crazy. Missing something. Cute little deer. Let's see the head's been repaired. Okay, so here is my little yard sale haul of the day. I'm so happy with my finds. I went to two different yard sales. And the first yard sale, I found some really great books and this awesome vintage Christmas. And the second yard sale, I found this L.L. Bean shirt and this cool little moose picture platter. So the first yard sale, so I'll check these girls out here. Your vintage Japan. 
There is a little bit of crazing in most of them, but not too bad. They're just so cute. This is the kind of kitsch I like. You see up close, you can kind of see how it's crazed, which is pretty typical of the vintage figurines, really. Especially in my area, people will store these Christmas ones out in their cold shed, and that tends to happen a lot. But still really cute. I love the little side eyes on her. So this first yard sale, we bought some things for our children. They're with us. They got some really great deals as well. They got some Legos. This really like brand new Lego set that probably was, I don't know, $80 new. And they got this huge bag of Minecraft toys. And we paid $20. Was it $20, I believe, for the both of them? And then that was the daughter. This was a multi-family yard sale. And the older lady, apparently I had picked all her stuff out, of course, right? And I brought it up to her. She's like, oh, just take those. So she actually gave me all this for free. Isn't that crazy? She was so excited that someone wanted it, I guess. <laughs> And she was just like, yeah, just take it. She's like, this is my stuff. Just take it. You enjoy those. So I will enjoy. This one, there is a little bit of damage on the back leg. You see there's a little repair there. But, you know, I think I can clean it up. It's a little little dirty. But it was just kind of cute. I don't really see the Santa with the reindeer like this and the vintage figurines. So a lot of the cold paint has worn off. I, I assume I'm probably going to try to just go ahead and wash the rest of that off. I think it'll look okay white. But another Vichens Japan there. This one. This one here is the older lady. And she has you know, a little candle holder at the back. It's probably Mrs. Cause. She's pretty crazed up. Which is also, she probably knew maybe the condition of these and was like, yeah, just take those. <laughs> so I still really like them. I don't mind having them in my decor. Commodore Japan on this one. Not familiar with that brand, but that one's really cute. My favorite <laughs> is this. And this one, I'm actually surprised that, you know, she just went ahead and gave it to me for free. Because it is a Lefton Japan Elf. So cute. I actually don't have any of these in my collection, so I was really stoked to get this. So fun. I might end up reselling these or one, one of these because I think I do already have at least one of these in my collection. So I don't really need two, but... I'm not sure which one, so I'll have to check my Christmas decor and deal with that as the time comes. And then I like these little wooden ornaments. So I usually snag them if they're in good condition. They're just kind of so homely they're cute, I guess. I don't know. I really like them, though. So get the little Santa there. The boxcar children, I am collecting these for my boys. I enjoyed this series as a kid, so I try to pick these up when I find them in the yard sale. So I guess I got that one for free. <laughs> and then I've also picked up the guide to garden shrubs and trees. This was from the 1960s, I believe. Let's see, 1965 and you know, it just has some different information. Some nice botanical pictures and plants and stuff. So that was a cool find. Also got this canning book. Be very helpful for my garden harvest. I was looking for different recipes for canning. So beautiful graphics to this as well. This one was really awesome. I was really happy with that. I picked up this magazine here, Flea Market Garden Style. I don't even know 
I guess it was from 2018. Never heard of this magazine before. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna check that out there. Look a cool one there. Might have to look into getting a subscription to that. <laughs> Looks like a nice one. Got a couple of cookbooks. These are vegetarian ones I grabbed. So they look like pretty nice ones. They don't look particularly old. Maybe the 90s would be my guess. I can't even find a date on it, so. Originally $2.99 at Borders, so yeah. It's probably the 90s. I think this is the same step-by-step -step vegetarian cookbook. So that was my little haul that I got for free. I <laughs> can't beat that, right? I'm super happy with that. So, so cool obsessed with this guy. I can't believe I got that. Okay. And then the next yard sale, I grabbed this moose tin plate. I plan to use this for decor. I have a little wilderness gallery wall that I like to do. A little paint by numbers and cross stitch, but I adore moose and anything wilderness. It reminds me of where I live. That's where, you know, a lot of people think of my state and they think more of the coast, but I live more, you know, in the highlands, so this is what reminds me of home more so than the coast stuff. Even though I'm not that far away from the coast, I'm about, like 40 minutes, but. <laughs> and then, so this was 50 cents for that. And then I found a vintage L.L. Bean jacket here. It is wool, made in the USA, so made right here in my state in Freeport. And... It is a men's long size large. So I might resell this. It's a little small on the smaller side for my husband and a little, you know, too big for my boys for quite some time. So I might look into reselling that. But, you know, the vintage Ella Bean sells really nicely. So that's probably going to be a resale. But everything else I believe I'm keeping. So... Yeah, just really happy with that find. Oh, I did get these at the free yard sale. <laughs> it's so funny because usually when we go to yard sales, the kids, anything they want, they usually get for free. People just love kids, right? And they're just like, oh, just take it. And usually I'm the one paying for my stuff, but it was the absolute opposite. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you just take that. And then we bought the kids stuff. So now these are really neat. I don't know. There's not too much information on it. They seem to be older, but they're plastic icicles, but I've never seen them made this way before. They're kind of like three prong. There's a little bit of divide there, but I love the way lights, when the Christmas lights go through these, they kind of glisten. So I thought these would be really neat to get for my tree. There's like eight or so in there, but yeah, those would be cute on the tree, I think. <laughs> yeah, overall, I think I did fantastic for what, a dollar? <laughs> a dollar total so that's why I love yard sales I hope you guys get out to the yard sales have a chance to and get some really good deals because you can find really cool stuff like this and yeah just just fantastic I love going yard sailing getting to meet all the people and just getting out and about so I hope you guys enjoy this haul let me know down in the comments what item I picked up today was your favorite and we'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching bye